I forgot. This is the alien storyline. We have to get this. The spectacle of inspection. Delian is ready to embark on another crusade for the truth. Pyro, what suspiciously auspicious timing. I was just thinking of you, and suddenly you appear. As I'm sure you recall, Master Poo Poo claimed his purpose in coming to our world was to search for a missing comrade. Pyro Mandeville, streamer extraordinaire. <laughs> I say that with every resub, but thank you once again for all the great times in your stream. You're welcome, and thank you for the eight month resub. Which, of which is, of course, merely a cover for his true objective. Laying the groundwork for a full-scale invasion! But I understand the skeptical masses will demand proof of this sinister operation. Thus did I decide to bide my time, keep my eyes open, and let things play out. And no sooner had I resolved to do so when I received word concerning the inspector. It seems they've made progress in tracking down our alien friend's friend. This could be my chance. I say my chance, but I can hardly stand against this cosmic conspiracy alone. You're coming along, yes? I wouldn't dream of letting you investigate Poo Poo by yourself. The truth will out, or something truth adjacent at the very least. The truth will out. You mean the truth will come out? The truth will out? Uh, okay. Or something truth adjacent. Then let us be on our way. They were headed to Palaka's stand, and we don't want to miss even the smallest development. Okay. All right. Dun 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 Truth will out the British thing? Okay. Hey, Nashu. Pyro, you came! The Luna crew is back together. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing, dude? Okay, here we go. Is that a fucking cat? Ma! There's a weird fucking cat outside. It, lo it looks like grandma, the fucking thing. Ah, my loyal associates. Come to admire the spectacle of inspection, have you? As well you should. Look, Master Poo Poo, Pyro has come to help. Thank you, Pyro! You're too kind! What? No more poo-pooing? <laughs> you speak our language now? No echo or universal translator what's it's required? Huh? It was no great chore to master your tongue. The grammar and syntax is relatively simplistic. Such a terrifying intellect. What hope do we have to prevail against it? <laughs> so, how did you narrow down the search to this particular area, exactly? Why, my tried and true inspector's sense, of course, my dear fellow, my idiot, simpleton, conspiracy theorist fellow. All the perceptible and imperceptible signs pointed me in this direction, although they did neglect to include a precise location. There's that stalker! There he is, Chet! Burn him! Look, there he is! Fuck! He's here! He's here! Light the haystack on fire and hope he goes up with it. For that, we must rely on another tried and true inspecting technique. Interrogation. Spread out, everyone, and question the locals on any poo-poo-shaped sightings. <laughs> Interrogate. Oh, boy. <laughs> what are you following us for? No! No! He just ran right in front of me. I didn't trip him or anything. Come on, man. You should... Come on. Give me that lol, dude. Have my character step forward and just put a foot in front of him so he trips. Just something. That'd be hilarious. Oh, come on. Okay. Now that you mention it, now that you mention it, I did see something like that in the west of the Shroud. Might have mistaken it for a small child if not for the way it moved. Sort of a furtive scamper. Creepy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any poo-poo you've seen? The poo-poo is the creepy. Oh, no. Not the poo-poo. Wait, you have... 
Well, they have dialogue over here. Let's see how fucking terrible this is. Poo Poo says, Ragamuffin? If I may, have you perchance come across an individual resembling this delightful blue ragamuffin here? <laughs> no, no, the syrup goes over the pancakes. <laughs> they just what? They just get me with the most random shit. Yes, I mean you're you're right, but like. Okay. Oh yes, I spotted just such an odd little creature in the jungle on my way back from the city markets. Only it wasn't alone. It was in the company of a rather unusual gentleman. Sickly pale he was and radiating an un unpleasant smell. I felt obliged to keep my distance. Yeah, that sounds like, um, uh, what are they called? Z a zombie gentleman? What are they called? Where's the lie? <laughs> Zombie gentleman. It's still the branding time. <laughs> Zayas, bro, thanks for the tier three for a year and a half. Thank you. And Lily, thanks for the six months. Congrats on the new sub badge. Zayas, thanks for the tier three. That's fucking crazy. Pyro. Have your investigations bore fruit? Mine own carefully crafted queries placed an individual of Master Poo Poo's proportions in the south of the Shroud. The Shroud of Samga? To the west, your sources say. I asked around, and there have been a few sightings in the jungle. Somewhere to the north. Southwest and north. And that must mean... Master Poo Poo has more friends here than he realized. I am not that gregarious. I have precisely one friend on this world. Could it be doppelgangers? No, no. Too simple. Too obvious. It's more likely the same alien wandering the jungle being spotted in different locations by different eyewitnesses. Which just means we need to... Ugh, I can't believe I'm suggesting this. Split up and search the whole area. A fair proposition. Very well, then. Oh, are we launching a search party? Oh, are we launching a search party? What's up, Daddy Daddy Godbert? Damn, look at those thighs, bro. Father, have you been following me? <laughs> Nothing of the sort. I was engaging in feats of physicality while my mind grappled with the mysteries of Mandevillian weapon forging, hoping to turn perspiration into inspiration, as it were. But I'm afraid the burning fields wooden men are poor muses when compared to the stimulus a worthy opponent fights. P provides. <laughs> hmm. Mayhap if I join you and the indomitable Pyro in your endeavor, then happenstance will deliver the challenge I require. You are continuing the case of the silent correspondent, yes? Have you need of an extra pair of eyes? As many as you can spare. I was about to sign team to assign teams to the search, as a matter of fact. The village sits in the shrouds east, so let's divvy up the remaining directions, shall we? Nashu and I will head south. Pyro and Master Poo Poo to the west, if you please. DeLorean, you and my father have the north. Ahem, <clears throat> that's Delian. Also, hmm. Also, the Shroud of the Samga is awfully big. How are we to keep in contact, much less coordinate our efforts? I had special ink pearls made for just such an occasion. We can chatter in each other's ears as much as we like. Oh, great. Do I have to wear it? He called him DeLorean. <laughs> are you, are you mad? The Charlians will listen in on everything we're saying. <laughs> the Charlians. <laughs> I love this guy. This guy is such a great character. 
Are you, are you mad? Really? All the way out here? I shouldn't think their hearing is that good. But seeing as you mislike Link Pals so much, Lord Godbert can hold the one for your team. Link Pearls, what a tremendous foresight. Now, let us proceed with our investigation. Oh, <laughs> his little head shake. Cute. The inspector wishes us to search in the west of the jungle, yes? I will follow your lead. <laughs> All right. Oh, he runs like a Pikmin. You know, that's what he looks like. Poo poo the Pikman. <gasps> Poo poo the Pikmin. What do you have to say? Etheris must be a wonderful star to call home. So rich in resources. Ah! That's a Bujamga. Almost ran into the Bujamga. Discuss the river. A river flowing right at our feet. Many stars have I visited in the cosmos. But precious few have such a, such a bounty of water as this one. Your home is a rare treasure. River. R River. Wait, can I mount? Or do I leave him behind if I do that? Oh. Okay, good. You're glad I decided to space it out? Me too. I see no trace of my comrade, but what are these Blackford beings? Are they friends of yours? <laughs> Fellow people of Atheris? <laughs> Those are a type of Sasquatch, by which I mean no. Vaguely people-shaped, perhaps, but not people. Not particularly friendly, either. Yeah, not, not quite people. Head pats there is a greater pets. variety of species here than I anticipated. I shall have to collect more samples. What? Let's keep moving. What do you mean more samples? More samples for what? You gonna splice together some Sasquatch back in your home world when we send you back? You used to be in sus. Emigale, thanks for the two months. You see this sus motherfucker? The rock formations on this island remind me of my home star. They have the same vibrant hues, the same stark beauty. If only. <clears throat> but never mind that. We have a friend to find. Was your world destroyed by Meteon? I'm gonna be very sad. Are you from like a, a, a disparate world that was subject to the all consuming powers of despair? No sign of my friend here either. But these white-furred individuals, they are surely one of your civilized races, yes? <laughs> You're talking about those lemurs? Those are beastkin. Uh, monkeys. Also not people. Mind the poop throwing. <laughs> hmm. I find it difficult to tell the difference. One semi-intelligent life form is much the same as another. Semi-intelligent. <laughs> Well, never mind. Moving on. Yo! Yo, what? Yo, I, I'm gonna punch you. This motherfucker. Okay, cutscene. What's he doing? Oh, is that him squinting? <laughs> Nothing. Not 
even a little burnt circle in the grass. <laughs> Are you talking? You mean a crop circle? <laughs> the, fr the friend I'm looking for. We grew up together. We were always together. We even shared the same dream. To roam the great expanse of the cosmos. We worked hard and supported one another until we both had starships of our very own. Then the universe was ours to explore. Are you an Alligan? How fleeting that feeling of triumph. Ah, but that is another tale entirely. I simply wish to express how dear this friend is to me. Hello? Is this thing on? This is Nashu. We think we may have found Poo Poo's friend. Come to Perusa as quickly as you can. Uh-huh. Yes, let's take my starship. It's the fastest way. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Perusa... Dear comrade of Master Poo Poo, we come in peace. Pray reveal yourself. What the fuck is that a mandrake? Mandragor. Wh Why are there man. What? Wh Wait! You! You're the Mandragoras! Ugh. I know that gentleman, the overlord's voice. Oh, it's a zombie. I know that gently gentleman, the overlord's voice. <laughs> He's dripped out. He looks like deepest boppus. He seriously does. Oh, boy. Master Zombie Brand. They said you were trapped in slumber, but I rejoice to see that that's no longer the case. Gods! It's one of the walking dead! Greetings, friends. I'm a proud member of the Gel Deadman and a disciple of Master Zombiebran. Why does that Mandragora look like a patchwork creature and it's crying and it has a fork stuck in its head? Uh. It's undead, dude. Nashu. What brings you here to Thavner, and in the company of Lenosha's infamous vegetable menace, no less? Allow me a few precious moments of your lifespan to explain. It was a time when the maggots in my skull grew restless and wriggly. Tales of spoiled seed can terrorize in the region of Boja reached our undead fraternity. And so on their behalf, I travel afar to recruit a rotten mandragora. <laughs> what? After making his acquaintance, the festering fellow wished to introduce me to his brethren, who he assured me were no less rotten. Thus did I make for Lenosha, that I might extend a fetid hand in hand in friendship. It's so cute and sad. 
When I arrived, however, I learned that one of their companions had been abducted by a strange flying vessel. What was a gentle dead man to do but aid in the search? Oh, really? I turned to the Davdarian truth, that reliable bastion of supernatural rumor mongering, and lo and behold, an alien craft much in the seeking description had been spotted here on this isle. Needless to say, we embarked on our journey forthwith. <laughs> the fucking Allegan dude. His, his article. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, one of our, uh, one of our faithful readers. I'm pleased to see that even in undeath, the hunger for truth is not wholly subsumed by the hunger for brains. So, we find ourselves in the case of the misappropriated Mandragora. This abductor will not evade my powers of discernment. Dalian's super rude. <laughs> <laughs> Soon we'll need a case to carry all these cases. Dun, dun, dun. An abductor. I have a feeling we won't need to look far. What? That's how I'm being moved? I hope we get the UFO abducting us as a mount. Dude. That would be hilarious. Ah, uh, that may have been me. Yeah, we know. Dude, it even kind of looks like the Pikmin shit. Doesn't it? There he is. Oh, he was so sad. Ah! <laughs> Forgive me for taking your friend. In my sample collecting frenzy, I must have mistaken him for an edible plant of some kind. He was gonna eat him! Ah! <laughs> oh my god! No! No! <laughs> Understandable. You'd not be the first to confuse a mandragora with a salad ingredient. The main thing is that he's returned to us unarmed and uneaten. All's well that ends well. Now, if you'll excuse us, we should be getting back to Fanalan. Rotting flesh and humidity is an unpleasant combination. <laughs> They're bigger than he is. So cows are bigger than humans. What is that? What a weird argument. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> My apologies, Master Poo Poo. We seem to have missed the mark this time, but I swear to you, I shall not rest until you are reunited with your comrade. The <laughs> whole cow! I almost believed your keen inspector's sense to be a form of prognostication. Prognostication. I believed your keen inspector's sense to be a form of prognostication, but it really was just following your gut. And I'm afraid vague inspectorial feelings will only take us so far. We have an entire world to search, and for that we need... Oh, I don't know. A veritable army of inspectors. Oh, boy. An army of inspectors. Of course! I can simply clone a multitude of Hildebrands as I did before! Now, now, let's not do anything rash. Oh, no. No! 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 We started with...
with cleaning this mess up. No! No! Don't do it. Don't do it. Are they fighting? They're fighting? Turning it upside down. There's a struggle in code. There's a struggle occurring. Hildebrand got thrown out. Poo Poo's coming down. Hildebrand. Wait, what just got thrown out of the ship? Was that a Hildebrand? Oh dear. The ship's matter duplication facility has been temperamental for a while and now it's broken down completely. The clone is at last. It, the clone is the last it will ever produce. Oh no. If it makes a bad Hildebrand or something. We had a sad Hildebrand originally, didn't we? What about a mad Hildebrand? Or a bad Hildebrand? <laughs> uh. Wait, he's he's like polygonal. Wait a second, he's like polygonal. He's like low poly. Look at him. He's like a 3D printed version. What the fuck? <laughs> but <laughs> Budget Hildebrand. <laughs> There's our Hildebrand. <laughs> Dude, he actually is! Yo, look at him! Wish Hildebrand. He looks... He looks like the grapes, chat! He's like made of plastic. Get your Giga Chads ready. Giga Chad! Giga Chad! <laughs> oh no, dude. Uh. Oh, he's like, oh my god. Name. My name is Brandy. Hild. Inspector Brandehild? Why is he so blocky? Yeah, the, the music as well. The cloning process must have failed part way through. Allow me to euthanize this abnormality. <laughs> <coughs> what? What? Now, now, let's not do anything rash. Oh my god. Unlike my former replicas, this one's highly unlikely to be mistaken for me. And seeing as we were looking for extra helpers, I say we press this undefined fellow into service. <laughs> <laughs> the music's actually so good. Welcome to the to the team, Inspector Brandehild. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm gonna make him sound like a caveman. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> he does it opposite, he does it backwards. He's, what is he doing above his head? What the fuck is Godbert doing? Is he gonna put the pillars back? Was Godbert putting the pillars back? Did you see him lift up that giant block? Oh, he fixed them. Okay, good. Thanks, Godbert. Respecting the architecture and the culture. My man. My man, Godbert. That's the dude. Assistance. Please allow me to be of assistance. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. never a dull moment around a Mandeville man. 
Blocky, Blocky Brandhild. You're so stupid, Nashu. Blocky though this inspector may be, that Master Poopoo could so easily attempt to replicate a living, thinking being. Alien technology is so advanced, I can scarce differentiate it from magic. Bro, it's Allegan technology, dude. You know who else replicated living beings, bro? The Allegans, bro, they cloned them and they had starships for spacefaring. How do we know Poo Poo isn't an Allegan? How do we know? It's an Allegan! What do you think, Poo Poo? I knew the duplicator had been unstable, but I pushed it to perform anyway. Now look what I've wrought. Not only is this clone a poor imitation of the inspector in form, but in force of personality as well. <laughs> They're pretty similar. I mean, again, assistance, please. Allow me to be of assistance. <laughs> we made quite a mess of that temple ruin, but thanks to father, it looks as good as new. Or would that be as good as old? In any event, I look forward to tackling the remainder of the case with my charming new contemporary. I am delighted to be a part of it. <laughs> look at him tapping his fingers together. Oh, look how shy he is. He really is very charming. The spectacle of inspection. Na, 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 na. I am delighted to be of assistance. <laughs> Generational bonding. Oh, fuck me, dude. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so stupid. <laughs> An unexpected but invaluable addition to our ranks. With our numbers thus bolstered, I say we are ready once more to dive into the fray. Perhaps, but what of our strategy? We need a new approach. Um, <clears throat> if I may, assuming Master Poo Poo's grains pilots a craft of similar design, then might we not instead attempt to locate the airship? Such a striking vessel will have drawn more attention than the comparatively tiny being in question. What? He has a point. The truth receives a large number of reports from readers claiming to have observed unidentified flying objects. We can review said reports. Those that meet the criteria of shiny silver and saucer-like Naturally, and then remove instances which we know to have been Master Poo Poo. That should narrow things down considerably. <laughs> God. Indeed, what a fantastic idea. <laughs> Just the kind of brilliance one might expect of one's clone. I was about to make the very same suggestion. Well done, Inspector. <laughs> I hope I've not overstepped my bounds. I'm but a shadow of the original after all. I have a stack of back issues stored in my workroom I use in the city. Poo Poo can help me sift through them and cross off the sightings that were definitely him. Shall we? -na 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 -na. I gave him this dopey ass voice and now he's smart. He sounds smart as fuck. Chat, <laughs> this is how they bait you, dude. This is how they bait you. Someone at Square Enix, this is not true, but I like to think, someone at Square Enix knows that I'm gonna voice this shit. That people out here are gonna voice act this shit. They know that when they introduce a character who looks and, and seems to act kind of like a doofus, oh, I'm, I'm hit brand healed. And then of course he whips out the, mm, indubitably so. Well, if he were the size of a swallow and a swallow only weighs four stone, could a swallow carry a, a, another, an egg to a rock to another place? Could it have carried a turtle? Could, like, what the fuck? This fucking guy's pulling out Pythagorean theorem to figure out where the fuck Poo Poo's been sighted. Nashu, what's up? Inspector Hildebrand inspected Inspector Brandhild with unexpected introspection. Ouch. I think I just twisted my tongue. Inspector Hildebrand inspected Inspector Brandhild with unexpected introspection. Nice. Nice. An African 
Dorian Swallow! Dorian has taken Master Poo Poo to peruse his store of past publications. Let us enjoy a brief interlude until they return with the results of their investigation. Suppose two swallows carried it together. Two swallows? Together? <laughs> we finished going through all the back issues. If we discount the areas we know Poo Poo to have visited, it turns out that there was only one other sighting of a flying saucer in Garlemald. The account itself was sent to me by an Imperial soldier named Numerius, who appears to be a loyal fan of the truth. Oh no. Oh no. Oh God. Oh God, I have to refill my water, Chad. This is gonna fuck me up. <laughs> He's as good as he ever was. I ain't as good as I once was, but I'm as good once as I ever was. All the way from the Empire? Your publication has an impressively wide readership. Our audience has always been universal. After all, the desire to know the unknown transcends all borders and creeds. The saucer was spotted during the Imperial War of Succession. Beyond that, there were no meaningful details. It was during the War of Succession. Then we must visit this soldier fellow at Garlemald and wring from him the entire tale. I agree. This is our only lead, and we've no choice but to follow up on it. To Camp Broken Glass. They are numer numerous. They are legionnaire. They do not forgive. They do not forget. They are also into tabloids. Mm -mm. Yeah, Faye, hold on. That's good? Good. Does not turn it up any fucking louder. How does my voice sound, by the way? It's not too, like, echoey or anything like that? Good? Awesome. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Damn it, I started talking to them before I spoke to them outside of the quest. Dang. Ashtianu! Oh, yeah. Thank you for the year resub. Hey, a fucking year is a long time. Thank you for making it there. I appreciate that so much. With a tier two. Thank you. There was no one else there? Oh. Everyone present and accounted for. Ah, uh, we appear to be missing Master Delian. There he is. Nasu says, Kakor, it never gets any warmer here, does it? My apologies, but I had a hunch that I thought might save us some time. I spoke with some contingent officers you see in our Numerius as on the roster of allied Imperial troops. That does certainly make things easier. And were they able to point you in the direction of this Numerius chap's posting? Yes, Numerius is currently with his unit, organizing the supply dump at Forum Patens. We should head over there and hope he can spare a few moments to talk. Ugh, the chill here seeps right into your bones. How are you all not shivering in that unseasonal attire? Oh, <laughs> a Mandeville man on a mission feels neither heat nor cold. Dude, I'm telling you, the truth is that the Mandervilles are from another fucking planet, dude. They're from, dude, let them be from planet Manderville. Dude, just, just, they... They're not of this world, bro. There's no shot. There's no shot. There's no chance. I'm not sure how one's frame of mind can overcome the reality of frostbite, but then again, reality always seems relative around the Mandervilles. You're fucking Krypton, bro. Seriously. Godbert's pretty awesome. He's fucking hilarious. The only people to have escaped the 13th. I knew Kalai came, but that wasn't so much an escape. Godbert's unsundered. Yo! 
<laughs> That'd be hilarious. Godbert is the son of Byergot. Turns out Byergot got jiggy with a mortal. That's how that's how Godbert was born. Demigod. Hemetheos. Not to mention Manderville's, uh, Godbert Manderville's hammer has the symbol of Byergot on it, but that'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Reality around Manderville's is relative. <laughs> Hello! Is there a Numerius here? I'm Delian, the editor-in-chief of the Thavnerian Truth. I've come to follow up on your eyewitness account. Oh. The editor-in-chief himself. What an honor. I wish there was more to the story, but everything I know is in my submission. I've not left to tell. Oh no, that guy's hot. Unless you've something else to share. Didn't you say you saw the sorcerer as well? He's an artillerist. Oh, I did more than just see it. This was around the time when that frightening... Sorry, this was around the time when the fighting with Nervous Faction had escalated into an all-out war, you understand. I'd been assigned to an anti-aircraft cannon and was actively surveying for enemies when this silver vessel flew into view. Some new kind of war machina, I presumed. So I opened fire and knocked it out of the sky. Presumed? You mean you never got a look at the wreckage? Are you kidding me? Every time something gets shot down, it gets removed by the government before anyone can go check it out. What are you talking about? Just like all these balloons we've shot down in the last two months, bro. We've shot down five of the fucking things. We still don't know if they're balloons or not somehow. <laughs> we were at war. I wasn't about to venture onto the battlefield to indulge my curiosity. It's probably still out there. Somewhere. We have to find that flying, or should I say fallen, silvery saucer. Do you have an idea of where it crashed? Not an exact location, no. Then we'd best have the god's own luck. Garlemald's capital region encompasses malms and malms of icy wilderness. If I may, do you happen to remember the approximate speed and bearing of the saucer? And the position and firing angle of the cannon? More or less, I think. An artillerist without a head for numbers wouldn't be long for the profession. That should be sufficient. Thank you. What? In the fuck. <laughs> Math. <laughs> I have it. The starship impacted the Earth 1,360 ohms to the northeast of our current location. Give or take a few moms. How in the seven hells did you arrive at that conclusion? Elementary algebra, my dear Delian. Assuming the craft belonging to Master Poopoo's comrade is of similar construction. Determining its trajectory is trivial. <laughs> ah, <laughs> my brilliant clone, ladies and gentlemen. I was about to offer the self-same conclusion, but once again, <laughs> he's beaten me to the punch. Hooray for Inspector Hildebrand! <laughs> I seem to have stolen my progenitor's thunder. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> 1,360 or so yams to the northeast of here. 
That improves the chances of our search from near hopelessness, from near hopeless to rather hopeful. Let's go and find this fallen saucer, shall we? There he is again. Oh, and there's this. Oh boy. Uh oh. He's activated. Oh, what have you found there, Pyro? An exterior panel. This is from my friend Starship. I'm sure of it. Debris from the crash landing. I see no other pieces in the immediate vicinity, which means the vessel may have weathered the barrage and made good its escape. Another possibility is that your comrade recovered most of the wreckage, or some as yet unknown party did. You're saying someone that may have made off with our cosmic visitor, saucer and all. I say this is an altogether different kind of alien abduction. <laughs> the alien got abducted. <laughs> hmm? Has anyone seen Nashu? Now that you mention it, where is my loyal assistant? Oh, God. Help! You have to help! My beloved Miss Nashu has been kidnapped! Yeah, you would only know because you've been stalking her. Some cad... Some cad claiming to be an agent of Dr. Luge came and took her away. Uh-oh. He told me to tell you and I quote... If you want your precious companion to return alive, then Pyro must present herself at the Tower of Babel, specifically the Magitech service, servicing facility. Don't forget that part. Okay. The gall, the temerity, the audacity. My stalwart aid spirited away under my very nose. My apologies, but who are you? A close acquaintance of Nashu, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> me? Oh no, I, I wish, I wish. I mean, uh, I just happen to be passing through this snowfield. I'm a snowflake inspector, you see? <laughs> no two alike and all that. Anyway, enough about me. You need to go and save Miss Nashu. <laughs> Hildebrand is still just standing there like that. At last, a chance to stretch my legs. What say you, my son? Shall we get this rescue mission underway? Indeed, we shall. Off they go. He just ran right over the wall in the pipe. Like, what the fuck? They left without us, even though this doctor fellow asked for you by name. Curious. Another abduction, and yet all I can do is wonder who that odd young man was, and why he smelled so strongly of cheese. <laughs> Forget the missing starship for now, Nasu is in imminent danger. They have a landlord. Here we go. Meanwhile, at the Tower of Babel, Really? Super Luge? Oh, oh my god. We all shall fall before Super Luge with this new and improved body. Revenge will be mine! Well. You will release Nashu this instant. Wait, he just stuck himself on. Wait a second. What are you two doing here? I specifically asked for the adventurer be gone before I unleash my fury prematurely. Oh, this promises to be a proper battle. 
I see no reason to trouble, Pyro. We tackle this menace's father and son, the Mandeville men, together. Agreed. Bah! I'll not waste my appetite for vengeance on these side dishes. Hired thugs, time to earn your pay. You hired those birds and that wolf? You you hired that you hired that? What'd you pay them in? Wait, do I get to play as Oh, a little warm-up before the main event. Do I get to play as Godbert fucking Manderville? Get them! No shot. No way, dude. Let's fucking go. No way. Fill the bread in the background. Rage of the Gentleman combo. Gentlemanly smash, thrust, Rage of the Gentleman. Grants 15 seconds of gloves off. Manderville sprint. This is so awesome. Motherfucker. Your lackeys were found lacking. Come out and face your fate. Insolent worms! The sun will be the first to die. What is this impending dread? Mommy! Uh, Daddy! If you can be so kind! <laughs> might be one of the greatest quests of all time. <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> they fly back at him. That was too close. Leftover warm machina. I am on the case. So the man just dances around while I'm doing all the work. I wouldn't dare get in the way of a Manderville. No, hell no. An amusing diversion, but you'll need to do better than that. This is over. Surrender. If reasonable means fail, then unreasonable measures are called for. Stand back, Hildebrand. Let your old man handle this. I slowed down time, neutralized the missiles? Can 
I get this guy on my top team? Yo! Get this guy on my fucking top team, bro! What the fuck is a fucking UAV? We don't need that! UAV online. Jesus Christ! We just need a Godbird. I can't do Panto Crater. Almost. Hildebrand. <laughs> I've had worse Shigo bites. Whatever that is. What? What manner of fiend are you? See, he's asking the question too. That's what I'm saying, bro. What the fuck are they? Did you see my man just fucking pull a Genjutsu and fucking literally do like a fucking shadow copy Genjutsu and, and sh soak all of those missiles at once? I don't think it was. Sasuke couldn't even do that. Come on, what is this? Godbird's the real SM. The hardiness of these Mandervilles, it's unnatural. Isn't it? That was exciting. Mayhap I should have let it hit me. Are we playing a game here? Is he enjoying this? You aggravating vermin! My plans are in ruins! You forced my hand. I'll bring this place down on your heads! The doctor leaves himself wide open. Let us seize the advantage. Time to limit break. Okay, Godbert can 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 limit break. It's confirmed, in lore. Now's our chance. He did. He did the thing. That's my thing. Godbert, that's my thing. You can't do the fist punch. That's 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 my thing. What the fuck? Uh oh. <laughs> oh boy. Finish him. Given the brutality. <laughs> what the fuck? Vanderville Generational Bonding Overdrive. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> Skylar Mouse, thanks for the 16 month resub. Na 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 na. Na 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 Ah, things seem to be well in hand. Wee! Don't get ahead of yourself. There you are, my loathsome nemesis. I saved something special just for you. You gonna blow a snot rocket at me? <laughs> Here we go with this shit again. Yo, math in the chat. Capital math. <laughs> 
Where did that come from? It almost been in the rocks above us. A shield. No, no, no. They are not gonna do this. No. Okay. Yo, that's some PTSD right there, dude. Oh, did you guys see how quickly by the... Oh. oh. Holy fuck, dude. Oh. Oh. I thought he was dead, dude. I thought he was for sure gone. I thought he was so dead. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, that, that situation was more traumatic than I remember. What? Football! Time to play some football! No way, dude! Blitz ball! Get this such a blitz ball move! Dude, they're giving they're gonna dude. They're gonna give us blitz ball, chat. They're gonna They're gonna give us blitz ball. That's literally like that's like one of Titus's foot. That's like a jet shot. That's is that that's at the did. Oh. That was a lovely nap. Oh, did someone build a Magitek servicing facility while I was asleep? Are you crying, boy? Always crying. Jets is a backflip. Yeah, he does a backflip. Because Titus does it in the opening cinematic, and that's when he sees Sin. Or, or he sees the big uh, wave coming in. <sighs> Nicely done, Inspector Brandehild. Once more, the clone has put the original to shame. Inspector, please, I'm but a pale imitation of your ideal. Ha! I knew keeping company with a famous pyro would lead me to a worthy challenge. Worthy of breaking a sweat, at least. You've done all the work for me. Yo, make sure someone gets a clip of that. That fucking blitz ball thing. There should be, there, there's lots of clip opportunities today. Hook it up, Chad, hook it up. Someone's gotta clip it. Oh, it was rude of us not to share a slice of the action. Yet vaunted champions such as yourself must rest their bodies and let others rise to the occasion from time to time. The villain is vanquished, and Nashu is returned to us safe and sound. I say we head back to Rods at Han to regroup and rethink our position. Your comrade yet lives, Master Poo Poo. I'm sure of it. Take heart and let us continue the search. All right. I remember standing in the snow and dreaming of being warm. Then suddenly I wasn't cold anymore. Isn't that odd? Maybe I should fall asleep in uncomfortable places more often. What the fuck? <laughs> to Gollum Olden back we have journeyed. Yet this is just the beginning of the case of the silent correspond. Come, my friends. The shard of saucer we secured shall lead us onwards to new discoveries. Wait for me, Inspector. I don't know which way is onwards. I should follow him, shouldn't I? Wait, wait for me! A final word from yours truly, if I may. The complexities of Godbrand's techniques had me flummoxed, I confess. But I do believe this recent spot of exertion has provided just the inspiration I required. 
When you are ready to proceed with our endeavor, pray drop a word in Master Geralt's ear. I shall make myself available forthwith. Until our next meeting. Thank you for assisting with my investigations, Pyro. Once again, our travels were rife with inexplicable phenomena, and yet I'm no closer to exposing Poo Poo's well-concealed conspiracy. Uh-huh. He will slip up one day, though, and you and I will be there to catch him. <laughs> How many times have people said if I made this patch? Managing way, Brandahild, Godbert. Mm hmm. That was hilarious. Meanwhile, somewhere in Thavnair. That was cool. First time I've seen them do that. You took my coin and you failed. What audacity that you should return. Seeking my lo what's this? How do you say this word? Largest, largest, largest seat. Lar. Largess. Largess. I was loud. Seeking my largess once more. I hate deserve your scorn, but I promise you, your plans are in danger so long as that tenacious pest yet lives. I know of a path to victory. A forbidden path, one which demands the manifestation of the divine. Primal summoning? You have my attention. That guy's wearing crafter gear. Nice. <laughs> Cute. See you, Inspector. Cute. What do you think of this ongoing... What think... What think you of this ongoing case, Pyro? The inspector at least seems confident that the piece of starship we found will help him pin down the whereabouts of Poopoo's comrade. If and when it does, I need to be there with quill and parchment in hand. We need to be there. 
As I've said before, this battle for truth cannot be fought by one man alone. Nice. Well, there's Hildebrand. There is Hildebrand, the Manderville man. But now I have a quest to upgrade my staff. I don't have enough tomes to upgrade it. What's my Reaper outfit look like? Mm, not great. I'm sharing with my Dragoon, that's why. Mm, it's about the itemization for this weapon. Getting away from debt DH and getting a lot more crit. Black Mage. Well oiled. Geralt isn't immediately shooing you away, which means he must have something to share. Pyro, how are you finding that Manderville weaponry of yours? Sits in my uh, armor chest the whole time, but seeing as mine was a hand of the forge, the answer you're looking for is bloody marvelous. Still, it can always be better. And it sounds like Godbert's ready to build on the bare bones of what we produce so far. I shall call upon his lordship. Pyro, so good of you to come. I've had my nose buried in that mystifying manual for what it feels like an age or more. But my decoding efforts have at last borne delicious fruits. It would seem that to further enhance the ethereal conductivity of your weaponry, we must apply yet another variety of meteorite. Much as one produces sparks by smashing one rock against another. A rare chondrite, in this case. The true key to the process, however, is something rather more intangible. Well, don't leave us hanging, you overdramatic peacock. Tell us already. My ancestor's tome is... Well, it is as much a journal as it is an instructional guide. And God Brand details a history of failure to elevate his creations. As he was a, an accomplished warrior as well, he thus removed himself to the furthest reaches of the wilds where he sought to vent his frustrations upon the most fearsome fiends that crossed his path. Post-battle clarity filled his spirit. And... And, miracle of miracles, his very next attempt at augmentation was a resounding success. So, you see, the missing ingredient in Godbrand's recipe for refinement was the sublime tranquility achieved in the wake of invigorating victory. I myself received the blessings of battle-based enlightenment on my travels with Pyro, following a mildly strenuous encounter with one Dr. Lugay. However... I contend, Master Geralt, that your martial meditation is as yet woefully inadequate. Huh? You think me smashing skulls instead of ingots will somehow improve me fortune instincts? I guarantee it. In fact, until you triumph over this trial, I suspect the next rung of Mandeville mastery will forever remain beyond your reach. Not that I expect you to charge blindly into fisticuffs. Nay, sir, I have prepared for you the perfect opponent. Pyro, if you would be so kind as to join Master Geralt at Windweft, I shall be with you momentarily. Okay. <laughs> Love your content on Twitch and YouTube. Thank you for making me smile. Thanks, Mr. Nugget. Thanks for thanks for saying that. Thanks for watching my content. Supporting. And thanks for the eight month resub. Post battle clarity, I just yeah. All I can hear is post dot clarity. 
<laughs> I wonder what Greg is up to. He's probably out there stealing more weapons, motherfucker. Oh, nice. It's a nice day out. It just went from cloudy and overcast. Well, here I am. So where's me perfect opponent? Nadana? That'd be hilarious. Eager to begin, I see. Capital. Follow me and we can get this clarifying combat underway. I'm really curious. What's he going to fight? Oh, it's a mammoth. Mm. Mm. A flimsy little mammoth. Now, I ain't a warrior, but feast your eyes on these corded arms. If this were a tavern brawl, the smart coin would be on the smitty. As it should be. Which is why I've set this fellow's battle parameters to the maximum level. R right then. Let's do this. Oh my god. It's a Mandervillian mammoth. A Manderville mammoth. <sighs> Tricky little bastard. Hmm. I know what this calls for. A generous application of Mandeville mandated lubrication. What? Oh. He's, he's oiling him up. Remember when I had to do this to Hildebrand? Oh. Oh, he's way stronger now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What'd you just slather me with? Only the finest Salamanderville, my good man. <laughs> Bill it sink into your muscles and augment your natural prowess. Tis the oil of champions. You know, I do feel oddly powerful. Worked. Oh my god. <laughs> ha! Take that, Tin Man. <laughs> my character's look, the raised eyebrow. What a rush! I've never wanted to forge Summit so badly. Is this that battle enlightenment you was on about? The very same. In your heightened state of awareness, our enhancements are sure to be flawless. Then let's get to work. As before, your job's to bargain for meteorite chunks from Jabruna. Rowena knows to supply her with chondrite we need. I'll head back and warm up the furnace. <laughs> he said, oh, ho, ho, ho. even at its weakest, watching my mammoth do battle is always a treat. Yes, I actually had this axe-wielding gentleman set to his lowest parameters. 
And while the salamanderville does stimulate circulation, it has no other special effects. The most daunting opponent you see is the prison of the mind. Even should the battle itself be a charade, the positive momentum one gains from prevailing in what was perceived to have been a mighty struggle is no less real. Wow. Now, if you'd kindly see to procuring the chondrite, I must attend to my part of the preparations. So I need 1,500 astronomy tomes. Chunks of complementary chondrite. I'm not doing orthos today, no. Oh, whoops. Uh. I cannot be, I cannot be the only fucking guy that read that and thought that I was getting free pieces of chondrite. I can't be the only person. It says complimentary chondrite. I thought it was gonna be complimentary. They totally fucking did that on purpose. They totally fucking did that on purpose. That's completely done on purpose. Motherfuckers. Dude. Complimentary by Rowena. Yeah, it's, oh my God. Boom, 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 boom. No, 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 no. Well, now I have to farm tomes. I was wondering compliment, I thought was spelled with an I. Complimentary. That's why I was a little bit confused. I was like, complimentary? That's, that's, that's a different word, isn't it? You know how long it would take me to get to Ether Siren? I appreciate that, but. A thing that completes or brings to perfection. What did you think, dude? I thought it was hilarious. The solo instance is probably the best solo instance ever fucking created, dude. Playing it, dude, when it clicked in my brain that I'm not here, wait a second. Always a man Someone's gonna have to fight. Wait, do I get to play as Godbert? Wait a second, wait. Oh my god, oh my god, we're holy shit, we're playing as God, man. That's pretty much how it went. Scott Pilgrim, thanks for the tier one, or sorry, the prime. Same shit, for nine months, man, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Mr. Nugget, thanks for the eight months also. Again. Dude, the running mechanic where you're just running around in a fucking circle, dude, is so hilarious. I totally had that moment of realization, too. Dude, or the part where they he pulls out the shield and your brain has flashbacks of Archifons and you start panicking thinking that fucking Brandahild's gonna die. Oh my God, that kill, oh my God. I almost had a panic attack.
All right, chat, time for a short intermission. I'm gonna step away for five to 10 minutes and then I'll be back. We'll probably run some instances to farm some astronomy tomes so that I can actually get this weapon. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Ugh, do I really want the black mage weapon? Oh, it doesn't even look good. If it's better, it's just better itemization. I don't even play Black Mage that much anymore. What other classes are options? Black Mage, Bard, Reaper, Warrior. Um, White Mage. Black Mage, White Mage, Reaper, Warrior, Summoner. I'm thinking the Axe, bro. That's kind of what I was thinking, Cody. I just don't like this fucking... Ugh. So I can like disband this quest and go pick it up and do it, do it for the axe instead. Side all in. Do you need to go potty or something? Why do you keep coming in here, though? Dark Knight looks fucking dope as well, but I don't have the original Dark Knight weapon, so it's kind of an issue. Right, send for his lordship and we can break out the hammer and tongs. Our collaborative masterpiece, taken to new heights. The amazing Manderville Axe. That's pretty sick. What did I tell you? It is the undeniable results of uh, your martial awakening. I still have me doubts on that front, but I... But I, it is a thing of beauty nonetheless. On the topic of masterpieces, Pyro, should you desire to refine any other Mandeville armaments in your possession, then pray call upon my artisanal protege here. He too has found enlightenment in the crucible of battle, and stands ready with a clear mind and steady hand. <laughs>
No, you're a thing of beauty. Yo, Tacitus, Einhard, thank you so much, sir, for the tier three on, on a 20-month streak. God damn. Thank you so much, sir. I will. I'll be Pimper, around, as Pimper, usual, Pimper, to make sure it all Pimper, meets and Pimper. me demand and standards. Myriad Nova, thank you for the fucking for the resub. Six months on a streak, too. Fifteen total, though, with a prime. Thank you. Are you pleased with your weaponry's new appearance, by the way? Or were you mayhap more enamored with its previous incarnation? Oh, ho, ho. I do understand the attraction of simple elegance. <laughs> Which is why we begin offering a line of Mandeville weapon replicas. Oh, nice. I'm opening a storefront here on a trial basis, so please, do bless us with your patronage if you feel so inclined. And I thought Rowena was a glutton for commerce. Our work is as aesthetically pleasing as it is practical. Would be foolish to leave such an obvious business venture untapped. Merch and talk aside, how much longer until we properly perfect your ancestor's creation? I get the feeling we've scarce scratched the surface. An excellent question, and a difficult one to answer. In breaking the cipher, I'm come to realize that the manual is but the first part of an incomplete set. Incomplete? You can't be serious. Where's the bloody rest of it, then? Presently unknown. Finding the continuation of Godbrand's guide shall consume my waking hours. Bah! Then occupying a table at the Mihane will consume mine. You're lucky they've got an impressive selection of spirits. Once again, I do apologize for the interminable delays. Fare thee well, my friends. I shall depart on my quest without further ado. Goodbye. Rah. Huzzah! Vanishing powder. Fly away. I'm guessing it will take him about four months to find the next part of the guide. Yeah, I think that's a pretty good guess. That's nice. Nice. Now I put the Rubiconte one away. We retrieved the materia from it. It was crit debt with one skill speed meld. We're fine. We're fine there, actually. Critical hit debt. So we'll do... One skill speed will put me over 700. Double the H, you think? Tenacity, shut up. Shut up. I, th I was gonna do one skill speed, one DH. Oh, my DH is kind of low, actually. Jesus Christ, never mind, I'm doing double DH. I only have 900, 940 DH. I don't really need the skill speed. I think 680, 6 is fine. And I think that's where I need to be at for my Dark Knight, too, so it's, it doesn't make a difference. It's pretty cozy right there. We should be good. We should be good. I think. So how does this thing die? Definitely not from old age. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's what we're putting on there. Metallic sky blue. That was easy. Fucking hell, dude. Just look at your character.
Ooh, that is nice. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Oh, man. Yeah, worth. Hell yeah, dude, that looks way better than the fucking stupid black mage rod.